For those of you who've been following Mars One for some time now, I know you're anxious to hear more details about the next rounds in Mars One's astronaut selection process, the progress on their latest investment round, and generally the next steps moving forward. Though at this moment in time many of the details surrounding this are still under wraps, I just wanted to let you know that you should keep an eye out for more information on these areas following a VIP event that Mars One will be hosting in Amsterdam on June 3rd. During this event, Mars One's ambassadors, advisors, investors and other stakeholders will be gathering in order to meet Mars One's core team and discuss the progress the organisation has been making. In the meantime, Mars One have been continuing their public engagement with the release of two new videos in their Mars 100 video profile series. This past month's videos feature American candidate Oscar Matthews and Polish candidate Mikolaj Zielenski, both of which you can find either here or over on Mars One's YouTube channel. Now, March was an interesting month for the concept of one-way human missions to Mars, as this served as the premise for an episode of the popular TV series The Simpsons. Coupled with a similar occurrence in the Big Bang Theory last year, certainly seems to suggest that the notion of the one-way mission architecture has made good penetration into popular culture, which is certainly encouraging to see. Though the episode of The Simpsons itself takes a highly satirical approach to the concept of a one-way, privately funded mission to Mars, in particular highlighting the perceived role of advertising in such a mission, which I too share reservations about. Overall, I found the episode quite amusing actually, and I do recommend it. So in case you haven't seen it yet, I won't spoil too many of the plot details, but what I'll do instead is link below to an independent review by Space.com about the episode, which contains a number of the clips in case you're interested. This past month has also seen quite a few public talks about Mars One, with the CEO delivering talks in Texas, Norway and the Netherlands, but many of the talks were actually delivered by the current candidates for the project. So, as always, what I'd like to do is provide you with a brief summary of some of the activities we've been involved in around the world. First up, this month's education and outreach highlight goes to Australian candidate Diane McGrath, who has delivered so many talks this past month and has even more scheduled for April that it's become awfully difficult just to keep track. So some highlights include talks at a conference series in Melbourne on the not-for-profit aspects of Mars One, to the Positive Education Schools Association in Victoria, and more recently she's been featured in an extended article in the April edition of the Australian Women's Weekly magazine focusing on modern Australian female explorers. If you want to learn more about Diane's motivations in applying for Mars One and about how the mission itself is planned to proceed, she recently took part in an extended two-part radio interview, which I'll link to down below. There's been a fair amount of activity down in Australia, actually, with candidate Josh Richards embarking on a global tour for his new Cosmic Nomad comedy show surrounding applying for a one-way mission to Mars. Josh has already completed the Australian and South African legs of his tour, having just touched down in the UK yesterday. I'm really looking forward to finally meeting him in person in Cambridge in a few days' time, as well as potentially catching up with a few of the other British Mars One candidates. After leaving the UK, Josh will go on to Ireland before touring around the eastern and western coasts of the United States, finally wrapping up in July. Other candidate highlights include a TEDx talk at the University of Toronto by Canadian candidate Ben Krieger, a TV interview and talk at the British University in Egypt by Egyptian candidate Mido Salam, a TV update on the progress of Mars One by South African candidate Adriana Marais, and finally a talk at a school in the Rhineland by German candidate Rob Schroeder. Myself and Oscar Matthews also held what we believe to be the first joint Mars One candidate Skype call with a school, speaking to a number of classes in London this past month. For my part, I've just returned from the International Science Festival in Edinburgh, where I delivered a talk on the Mars One project, which had an interesting symmetry actually because it was three years ago at the same science festival that I first saw a talk by Baz Lansdorp 
which was just a few weeks before Mars One opened up their application process, which originally encouraged me to apply to the project. I also delivered a talk as part of a panel discussion on the science of terraforming Mars, but don't worry if you missed it though, because I do intend in the near future to release a video on this channel where I will discuss how you could actually go about terraforming Mars, so keep an eye out for that in the near future. Finally, I'd just like to give a huge congratulations to SpaceX for the first successful landing of the first stage of the Falcon 9 on their drone ship Of Course I Still Love You yesterday. This is a highly significant step towards creating a reusable orbital class vehicle, which holds the potential of gradually reducing launch costs over time and helping to further facilitate the exploration and indeed eventual settlement of outer space. The next step will of course be to refly one of these relanded stages after it has been potentially refurbished, which SpaceX may very well be attempting later this year. So 2016 is certainly shaping up to be an exciting one indeed for space exploration. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, I produce monthly updates on the Mars One project, usually on the first Saturday of each month, as well as explorations in planetary science, astrophysics and human spaceflight. This month's featured video is a recent episode of SciShow Space, which examines how Mars One intends to support human life on the Red Planet. Do let me know if you have any questions, comments or suggestions on topics for future videos. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter, subscribe and comment down below to join the conversation.